Hey guys, Evviews here, and in this video, I will be reviewing a game that I just beat last night called Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Alright, if you don't know what this game is, it's a first person shooter from the 2010s, like early 20s, I think it's like 2011, 2013. One of those, it was like a Xbox 360, PS3 kind of game, and it's like a, it's a first person shooter that has one very unique system called skill shot. And this is like, in my opinion, what defines the whole game is the skill shot mechanic. So what this is, is there's a bunch of guns throughout the games, throughout the game. And so pretty much what it is, is like, if you kill enemies in a certain way, or like by doing a certain challenge, pretty much, you get what's called a skill shot. And there are different ones, like one of them might be get a headshot, simple as that, or it might be like get two kills or more without letting go of a trigger, for example, or kill airborne enemies, like something like that. And if you do these challenges, you get points. And these points can be spent on upgrades and stuff. We'll get to that later. And this system is really cool. This system, like, it makes the game really fun. And it doesn't tell you some of the skill shots. Like, it doesn't tell you, like, what to do ahead sometimes. You actually have to unlock the weapon. So, like, you have to kind of, like, get a feel for it and then realize how what the best way to complete these challenges is going to be, and then try to, like, find the right enemies, find the right scenario, and get the challenges done, get the XP, or not XP, but points, whatever you want to call it, and then, yeah, get, get try to get unlock as many as you can. I got about 75% of them, I think, so I got, I, I got a lot of them, but some of them are really hard, some of them took me forever to get, but this system, I've never seen it in, like, any other game. This is a really cool system, and, like, it's just like it's pretty much just like a bunch of different challenges like games have challenges you know like it's a kid the camp mm, sorry i'm reviewing the campaign by the way which is like seven missions with different acts so it's like seven acts with different missions in them so i've said about like 16 17 missions total so like games missions have challenges like call of duty has that doom has that like a bunch of games have that kind of stuff but this game it's just a set list of challenges related to each gun. Each gun has their own challenges. Then there's some general ones that you can do with any gun and like different abilities that we'll get to later. And um, I've never seen something like this before. This is like, there is like, like actually no, there is like weapon upgrade challenges that you can do in some games, but usually it's not this many. And like, they aren't as challenging like it as this. Like usually it's something like kill a hundred enemies in the level or something like that. This is like shoot an enemy like from this angle, like shoot the enemy in the head and then cause the explosion of the explosive bullet ability to kill four of our enemies around it or something like really unique like that. And you don't, you don't see this in games much. This is a really, it's like unique system. Anyway, I've said that like four times already. So anyway, other good parts of the game are the weapons. Weapons, there's one really, so this game is kind of like about being creative, right? Like getting all these different cool, unique kills for skill shots and getting points. But you can only hold three weapons at once, and one of them is locked. Like, you can, you always have to have your rifle on you. And then you have a left-handed weapon, whatever that means, and a right-handed weapon. Even though you hold them with the same hand, like, it's not like you're dual-wielding them. But, um, it's like, I think that's really stupid, because there's, like, I'd say, like, ten weapons, maybe less, like, nine or eight. But there's a lot of weapons, and they're all really unique. And it'll have a charged ability that you unlock later on. After you unlock them, you'll get a charged ability, which is, like, you press a button... And then it uses a different source of ammo that is really hard to get and costs more to buy with your skill points. And it just, like, lets off something crazy. Like, for example, the rifle that I was talking about, you'll shoot, like, a piercing bullet that pierces, like, a bunch of enemies. Like, a sniper, pretty much. Like, a really good piercing sniper for a lot of damage. Or, like, one of them, it'll shoot, like, a favorite, for, is it very sniper in the game, and it shoots an explosive bullet that you can detonate whenever you want. So, like, you'll shoot someone in the head, and then you'll press the trigger, and bam, it explodes and kills everyone around them. So, like, these weapons are all, like, really unique and really different from each other, I think. Weapons, very good. Very good. But, also, okay, so, before I get to that, there's another thing in the game has. It has, like, a thing called a leash, and it's, like, on your hand, your left hand, you, like, do this, and then a little whip comes out, and you can grab enemies and pull them towards you. And then, while they, like, once they get pulled close enough to you, they'll get, like, suspended in time for a bit. Like, time will slow down, and they'll get highlighted for a bit. So you can, like, shoot them, you can kick them, and also if you kick an enemy, it also does the same effect. So, like, you kick them, then they get suspended in time, and then, bam, they go flying back and feel, like, the force of your kick. 
mm. which is really cool and sets up a lot of those skill shot challenges that I was talking about. So, like, all that, like, that whole, like, I don't know, arsenal of weapons, really good, really cool, but they do try to make upgrades for them, and you're probably thinking, oh, upgrades, like, that's such a good system, like, yeah, you have to spend those points with the skill shots on something, right? Yeah, you spend it on ammo upgrades, and you buy ammo, like, that's it. You can upgrade the amount of ammo that you can carry, and you upgrade, and you buy ammo, and you can upgrade the amount of charge ammo that you can carry per each weapon, and, like, there's so many possibilities that they could have done. They could have made it, like, even just simple stats, like, more damage, more fire rate, more accuracy, stuff like that would have been way better and made you, like, really want to try to get these skill shot points instead of just more ammo. Like, you know, like, it's kind of basic and not really inspired. So that part I really don't like. But the actual weapons themselves, very, very good. But could have been upgraded better. And also the leash, it has one upgrade called the thumper. And it makes so you grab enemy and you slam them against the ground and it makes, like, a big shockwave. And um, that's pretty cool, but that's like the only unique upgrade. It's pretty much just a charge ability. I was talking about every other gun, except for the leash. And like, you know, kind of not very inspired. Kind of like they could have done so much more, and then it would have felt a lot more rewarding to get those skill shots. Okay, so those are some guns, skill shot system. Those are the two things that I've touched on so far, I think, right? Yeah, so then the story. The story, not very good, pretty basic. Like, it's not very, it's like, you crap, like, it's like, you're a soldier who was, like, betrayed by your general, and then you have to go and, like, try to kill him, and that's pretty much the whole story, and, like, the characters, there are some good characters who are pretty funny, the humor is pretty good in this game, but, um, the actual story itself, not very good, not good at all, but the, the characters and the voice acting, very good. You have, a uh, Steve Blum, uh, I know him from Zombies as Dempsey, he's, like, I like him as voice actor a lot, he's in a bunch of other games, too, I bet. Like, there's, I bet you've definitely seen him in some game or another. He's in also, like, anime and, like, other shows. He's in a lot of things. Like, I don't watch anime or anything, but he's in a lot of stuff. And he's a, he's a good voice actor. And he's the main character. I like him a lot. His voice acting and his dialogue, very good. And also, um, other characters, pretty good. But it's really only for, like, two other characters. Like, two other main characters in the game until the end. Then there's the general when you meet him. And, yeah. Uh, not very good story, but good characters, good voice acting, good dialogue, story bad. And also the locations, oh my god, the locations in this game, you have like, desert, abandoned city, uh, garden, like it's the most like, basic, rundown, like it's, there's no inspiration for the locations. Like you're on an alien planet, there could have been so much cooler stuff. There's one part, I will say that's really cool, where it's like a mini city, it's kind of like you go to like a game, like a kid's game, where you're like, you simulate being like a Godzilla type creature, and you're in like a mini city, but it's still like a really big city, like where the skyscrapers go like 10 times higher than you do, but like, they're still really small, like they're not like actual skyscrapers, and it's all indoors. That part, that part's really cool. I like that part a lot. And speaking of that, there's a bunch of, there's, there's a few parts of the game where like the gameplay gets really unique, like there's a part where you have, like, there's a giant, like, you're on a cart, a train, and there's a giant wheel chasing you, and you have to, like, shoot it and, like, knock it over before it runs you over. It's, like, a huge wheel, like, hundreds of feet tall. So, like, there's really good, unique, like, parts of the game, but the locations, the locations, like, the actual, like, gameplay-wise, it's all really good. But, like, the locations themselves and the atmosphere, atmosphere is a good word, is not very inspired, very basic, like, you never actually take the time and, like, look around at, like, what you're seeing, it's just really basic, like, abandoned room one, abandoned building two, garden, like, desert, like, nothing, there's nothing at all, like, that's inspired, anyway, oh, wow, nine minutes already, <laughs> this is gonna be a long one, um, what else, what else, uh, I made, like, a little notes app with points to talk about, but I can't remember them now, um, other good parts, oh, the movement, the movement, so sprinting, you use the A button, I play on Xbox, you use the A button to sprint, which is pretty unique, and it makes you, like, hold the controller a bit differently, but then while you're sprinting, you can slide, and you, the slide it is so much faster than sprinting, it feels really good to, like, slide and, like, shoot at them while you're sliding, and also you can slide into them, and it does, like, the same kick effect I was talking about, where it knocks them back, and they get, like, suspended in time for a second. And it makes it feel like a really nice slide. You slide into enemies, you slide away from enemies. Sliding is really well made here. Also, another well thing, that, ah, another thing that's well made here is quick time events. Quick time events, usually, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Most people, I don't think, are. But in this game, they're pretty well implemented. And it's like the faster you react, 
the more skill points you get from that quick time event. Which, like, you know, as I said earlier, skill points, they don't mean much, just ammo. But, um, still, like, it, it's, like, some, some incentive to do them well, if that makes sense. And, uh, what else, what else? There's definitely more. Oh, there's DLC, where you can play as Duke Nukem. I never played Duke Nukem, but people say it's, like, really good. And, like, they made, like, all the voice acting completely different for, like, the entire game. And it's, like, his voice. I never played the game, but I think it's worth touching in on that if you plan on getting the game and you're a fan Duke Nukem, that's a thing. Um, there's multiplayer. Multiplayer, it's very dead now. Like, this game, this game was never, like, really, it's a pretty underground game, I feel like, of, like, a bit of, like, a, what's the word, a cult following, if that makes sense. Like, nine people know about it, but the people that do like it, like, really like it. And, um, like, has, like, a big, dedicated fan base. And, um, there's a multiplayer mode. I don't know how it works because I tried to get into a game and I could not find a game. So I don't know how that works. I just consider it dead. So if you hear something about that, just don't even take it into consideration when you're playing and buying the game. And then there's, a, there's another mode called Echoes. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a mode after you beat the game called Overkill Mode. And this fixes that problem I was talking about earlier. Let's you carry every weapon at once and you can get infinite ammo for your weapons if you do all the skill shots with that weapon. That's really cool. I haven't played that because I just beat the game and I don't intend on replaying it anytime soon. Maybe I'll play it soon in this overkill mode because that just sounds kind of good. But um, but that, that changes up a lot and it's like a good reward. It's like a new game plus kind of thing, but like it fixes what I think is one of the biggest faults of the game and only carrying free weapons. Like there's so many good weapons and you can do so many cool combinations if you could just carry all of them. Like Doom Eternal, like, you know, like that kind of thing, or just any Doom, I guess. I like Doom. Sorry, guys, there might have been, like, a bit of a weird cut there. I'm recording on my phone. I record all these videos on my phone, and uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is second part, part two, but same video. So, anyway, yeah, overkill mode, great thing, great, like, replayability, great reward for beating the game. I guess. Now, last thing that I thought about is the enemies. Enemies. Enemies aren't looking good, man. There's only, like, a few types of enemies. Enemies are super basic in this game. They just run around and shoot you. Like, you know, there's nothing unique at all. They're always bipedal, and they run around, shoot you. Like, there's aliens, there's humans, but, like, they all do the same thing. Some some come in and hit you with melee. Some shoot you. Like, that's it. That's all you get. And then there is, like, one later on where you have to shoot, like, certain points. There's only certain vulnerable points. And, oh, my God, they must have really felt proud about that because once they introduce that type of enemy... They use nothing but that enemy for, like, pretty much, like, the rest of the game. They must have really liked, they must have felt really proud of that, even though it's, that's like, a really, that's not, like, special at all. Just shoot it, like, so it'll be, like, glowing points on them where they have to shoot. And you can't shoot anywhere else other than these glowing points. And, like, it, it honestly, they're worse than normal enemies because it just makes it, like, it's good because they introduce it at the end of the game when your accuracy should be better. But still, like, where they, oh my god, they get overused so much, I feel like. So enemies, not good at all. Just run around, shoot, stab. Like, that's all you get for enemies. Anyway, I think it's time for the final review. Or grade, at ranking, ranking, number, I don't know what to call it. But, um, rating, rating, ranking, not rating, not ranking. Eh, can't talk today. Um... Final ranking, didn't put much thought into this, actually. Uh, I'll say 5.5 out of 7. Good game, great gameplay, great weapons, but not good story. Oh, also great voice acting, not many bugs. I don't know if I talked about that, but there's not many bugs in the game. I did not notice many bugs at all. And the ones that I did were actually in cutscenes where, like, the characters just wouldn't speak when their mouth opened, when their mouth opened. But anyway, so yeah, good gameplay. Good voice acting, bad story, bad enemies, bad upgrades. Uh, the music is all, like, super repetitive. It's just, like, the same. Like, it's, like, army music, you know? Like, this stereotypical, like, shooter music. Don't like it that much. It gets really repetitive after a while. But it works. So I don't know if that'd be good or bad. Just kind of in the middle of there. Yeah. So lots of faults. Bad upgrade system. I think I said that already, actually. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, anyway, good game, lots of faults, 5.5 .5 out of 7, ev, I, I, so, anyway, I was about to say ev views out, but actually, I need to recommend it or not, so I would recommend it, 
I only got it for four dollars and it's about it took me about mm, I beat it in two sittings but I think it's about like nine hours of gameplay or so yeah it's about nine eight or nine uh so if it right now I think I think the retail is like 40 do not get it for 40 it is not worth 40 or 30 however much retail is don't don't get it for retail get it at like GameStop or some other place where you can get cheaper I got it just on some Xbox sale it was 90% off, say it was 40 because I got it for $4, and it was 90% off. So wait for something like that if you're going to get it, because you only get the campaign. The other modes aren't very good, or they're dead, like multiplayer. So yeah, if you can get it for cheap, get it, play it, you'll have a good time. Maybe you'll like it more than me, maybe you won't like it that much, but I'd say it's a pretty good game. Very good game, but lots of faults. Not a good story. Don't get it for the story, just get it for gameplay. If you're going to get it, just get it for gameplay. Don't worry about anything else. Gameplay and good jokes and voice acting that's it and this has gone on for like what like 12 minutes anyway and views out have a fantastic day and check i'm gonna make another video today check that one out bye